the youngest daughter just absolutely loves switching things like this on and off. As you can see, that has got a flashing green button. That is very tempting for my youngest daughter. She always comes and switches it off. So to stop her doing it, I've made this, which is a small disc made out of four millimeter thick Perspex. It quite literally took me about five minutes to cut out and drill three of these. So they are very quick to make. And on the back, I've used some Mammoth tape. If you've never used Mammoth tape before, it is extremely sticky. It's double-sided tape and it is incredibly sticky. If I just peel off the backing tape from that and from the other piece and I will stick this in position. I've designed it so that it'll go directly over the bottom. So I just need to align the centre of that and then we just need to push that firmly in position. And I can tell you that once that is stuck on there, there is no way that a child will ever be able to pull that off. The Mammoth tape grips so well. You can now switch the printer on or off using a small Allen key like that. That will easily go through the hole and you can press the on off button. Or you can make something like that, which I've made from another scrap piece of Perspex. So I've simply shaped that so that it's got a point on the end that will actually fit through the holes. I can push that through there and I can switch the printer on and off. Because that is on there, it will prevent the children from pressing it because obviously they cannot get the fingers through the hole. As well as switching the printer on and off, she also likes to switch the TV on and off. So again, I've made a disc using some Perspex. I've drilled a six millimeter all in the center and that is approximately four millimeters thick. I must say that I've made this very quickly. I've not gone to any great length to make it. It is only a temporary measure. Once she's old enough, we can simply remove it. So all we need to do with this now is stick it in position over the switch and make sure that it is firmly stuck in position. Obviously you can choose a colour of Perspex that matches your TV. I've only used that colour because it's some that I actually had left over from a job. We can now take the special tool that I've made. Of course you can use an X key or something similar that will fit through the hole. We can press the button and the TV will then come on. It does take a couple of minutes for the TV to come on and there you go, we've now got Mr Tumble on TV. So if you've got electrical items in your home that your children keep switching on and off when they shouldn't be doing, this is an incredibly cheap and easy way of stopping them doing it.